So here's how I like to think of it. You know, Baltimore is the city of stoop sitting, right? It's the biggest stoop you can have, right? <laughs> exactly. And these changes to Penn Station, we are so excited about them. They sound wonderful. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. And Rachel, we loved your story. And was it so cool to hear about these changes? Not just, of course, for Penn Station, but for the whole neighborhood. This is going to be mm -hmm. spectacular. It's, yeah, it's really some exciting changes. And you can see in those pictures, it's going to be really beautiful. They're going to take the concourse that's now the ticketing area and create restaurants, retail. This is going to be a destination spot where you're going to want to come. There will be co working space on the upper floors. So after work, this is going to be a gathering area. They're going to move the ticketing across the street, uh, across the train tracks. To Landvale, mm. and then the original concourse is going to be the place to be. Wow, they're going to move the ticketing across the street. Yes. That's fascinating. I used to go up down to New York every single week, so I'm really familiar with that train station. What's amazing to me is that they can afford to do this because Amtrak, we've heard, has been struggling over the years to get funding, federal funding, etc. So this must be a huge, expensive project. It is. It's 150 million dollars. <laughs> It will be oh. completed by 2025. They're okay. starting with the outside. You saw the scaffolding on the yes. outside of the building, and then they'll move inside this summer. Wow. I hate to be a, uh, but what about parking? <laughs> Denise. <laughs> it's really hard to park there. <laughs> it's a good question. Parking wasn't addressed in our interviews, but um, just the expansion of um, the concourse and making this really a place to be is what they're is what they're doing right now. They start on the outside and then they move inside, and it takes it's really labor intensive because the building is so old. Mm -hmm. um, they everything goes through a historical society, um, mm. so it's really labor intensive, and they have to be very careful preserving it's, everything. Yes, because there is a lot to preserve. It yeah, is so beautiful. You see the gorgeous, ceiling. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful. Exactly. It's like Washington's train station. Hopefully people will see yes. it as a place to go, even if you're totally. not taking the train. Right, right. It's a place to come after work. They talked about um, redeveloping the plaza right in front of Penn Station. Wonderful. So eventually that, that might be a place to come for a concert or an art oh, exhibit. Yes. Or some other community event that could also be a space to Very bring cool. people together. Fantastic. Oh, no wonder the neighborhood you. woman is so excited about yes, it. Yes. Who you interviewed. The yeah. ultimate stoop. She was so right. <laughs> right. Exactly. She put it. Yes. She put it right. We have exactly right. one of the nation's nicest train stations. Hopefully people who've never been there before now this will be the reason for them to go. Exactly right. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you Rachel so much for being here and telling us all about it. We can't wait. Thanks and for I having me. I love seeing what and it was 100 years ago. I know. Fantastic. Yes. Fascinating. So much history. Tim.